right here you can see i am emulating pokemon x on my iphone with the help of emu 3ds yo what's up guys this is atrix here as promised today i'll be showing you guys how to set up emu 3ds on your ios devices now the first thing you'll need to note is that emu 3ds has to be side loaded on your iphone so you can use tools like 3u tools or scarlet you can find more info on that on google i won't be able to tell you guys that in today's video as we'll be only focusing on the emu 3ds now if we just go ahead and open the github page of emu 3ds this emulator is completely open source and in the current version which i have loaded on my device on screen touch controls have been added you no longer need an external controller and if we just go ahead and take a look at what's coming coming in 1.0.6 amiibo support which is already present in this version as well including virtual controller support improved settings has not yet been added i guess improved audio will be coming in the upcoming updates this is the version which i am on right now on this official github page the developer hasn't written any minimum requirements but i am guessing you need ios 13 or above or maybe even ios 15 or above to run this simulator and you probably need 812 bionic chip as 3d simulation on ios is not optimized let's just go ahead and open settings there are these settings use jit use hle and there is customization where you cannot really customize anything and there is the support button for developer if you guys want to help him out by supporting his project you can do that as well but we'll be using only hle let's enable jit as well and i'll show you guys that the game doesn't really work with jit enabled so if you open pokemon x as you saw the game just crashed so i'll be disabling this option let's click on save so setting up this emulator is pretty easy you just open it and then open files when you open the files app you will see a separate emu 3ds folder which will be present in on my iphone directory inside this you will find more folders like log cheats system data save states and also rom so this folder is where you have to load your games in so dump your game files into this folder right here now let's get back to emu 3ds let's open pokemon x and as you can see right here are the on-screen touch controls you just have to click on the settings button afterwards click on emulation click on joystick to switch to joystick mode but anyways let's click on the settings again go to emulation let's use direction pad we also have a uh, save states load or save but anyways let's choose the language begin game there we go the game has successfully started and you can immediately notice few texture issues but the game appears to be working at full speed 30 fps even on my snapdragon 8 gen 2 android device if we try citra emulator uh, the game will lag little bit while loading shaders but here i am not really noticing any major stutters other than the beginning screen which we just saw but let's choose our character and start the game another thing which i noticed is that there is haptic feedback when you touch these on-screen controls but anyways the game has started unfortunately i would really wish if there was an option to choose a large screen layout just like citra emulator iphones generally have a small screen so i really hope the developer adds the large screen layout feature all right let me switch to uh, the joystick controls and I am not really noticing any kind of lag so I guess the game is running at 30 fps at least inside house we need to leave the house to see how much fps do we get in the open world the game might even be lagging I can't really tell because there is no fps bar alright the cutscene is over let's try moving around a little bit to find out if there are any lags and I think the game is running at around 20 fps or 20 to 30 fps because it's not really completely smooth it's a little slow but anyways, there you have it guys, Nintendo 3DS emulation on iOS devices. Just take a look at this, there is some sort of delay. The game isn't full speed right now, but hopefully it gets fixed in future. So thanks for watching, see you guys next time, peace out.